flashlight. I knew we'd go into the basement. And uh, before we got out of the bedroom, the lights went out. So basically in here. Directly across the street, Jeremy Sutter surveyed what's left of the home he purchased just five months ago. You were basically in the in the hallway? I had this mattress right here, covered everything. I had a blanket over us. Most of those we spoke to have insurance, but it will be a very long time before they're back in this neighborhood. Where are you going to spend the night? Back to my mom's garage. I'm a homeowner. Back to mom's garage. Gotta love it. At least 130 people were injured in these widespread storms overnight, and unfortunately, the forecast calls for more stormy weather here in Ohio and elsewhere tonight, tomorrow, and possibly Thursday, too. The people who live along the Arkansas River are filling sandbags and hoping for the best. The river is already at flood stage, with heavy rain to the north sending another huge crest of water headed their way. Manuel Bajorquez is in Fort Smith, Arkansas. The only way to access this Fort Smith, Arkansas neighborhood is by boat. Jason Baugh took us along. What's it like to be on a street that you would normally drive? It's pretty devastating to see all this water in the neighborhood. Riverland Terrace is now part of the Arkansas River. This is a neighborhood that has seen some flooding before, but never like this. Take a look at this house. The water is up to the roof. Storms upstream have pushed the Arkansas River to historic levels, more than 40 feet now after it started flooding nearly a week ago. By tomorrow, it could reach its peak, 20 feet above flood stage. And officials caution the parts of town that remain dry because of the 26 miles of levees are not out of the woods. They appear to be holding for now, but they've never contained so much water. 87-year-old Korea War veteran Bud Cooksey is not waiting to see what happens. He's moved out most of the family's belongings. When we first got notification, I didn't worry about our street because I'm not required to have flood insurance where I live here. The house is now inches from taking on water. This here has probably been the most nerve-wracking experience I've ever had in my entire life. And that's coming from someone who fought in Korea. The forecast is only adding to the anxiety here. Some areas could get up to three inches of rain by tomorrow night, adding to the misery and the time it will take for the water to recede. In Missouri, the only abortion clinic in the state